John. We'll get that on film and we'll take a look at it here shortly. But that was that was good, buddy. The tempo, I think, is it's it's hard to piece everything together when I, I'm going so fast. Like we've talked about, nothing could happen. And right. and my problem is I'll go on the course and I'll start playing well, play that little tiny fade, but and that but that creeps into a slice by the ninth hole and you know right. before I get to 18, it's completely gone. I'm so glad John said this. You know, we're, we're here we are, and I'm kind of just landed on like, brrr, you know, like, hey, what he just said is so crucial. Rhythm is the glue that holds the golf swing together. No matter what you're working on, many people struggle with taking the club back inside. I always tell people, the first step to not doing that is making sure the golf club and you are moving at the same pace on the way back. The minute that club goes faster than your body, see ya, right? So rhythm allows you to make changes. We try to turn our thoughts into account. Okay, we try to turn the thoughts into account. So, you know, I don't like one, two, three, four. That's PC. It's got to be one, two, but it's how you do the one, two. Ready? One, two. Notice how I drag on the N. Mm, I've memorized that for myself. One, two. For you, one happens all the way to the top and under the shoulders. Let's do a couple like that to show the viewer. One, two. There it is. So I can't get to two, one, till I Till let you go that, back under the shoulder yeah. plane. Let's, mm -hmm. hit, let's hit a couple like that so we show, yeah. Cause that's, that's a key for you, John. Yeah. What he found and what we found in the last lesson was he needs to feel like he's starting his downswing when his hands get back below his shoulders. So his backswing, we're actually doing this. One, one, two. Literally felt like he's just letting it be weightless in transition and starting his downswing once his hands break the shoulder. I call it the shoulder plant up here. So one and then two. And that's the feeling that he's gonna play with today and what he's gonna be working on, okay? So let's take a look and see how well he can do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Who is this guy? We're trying to shallow out the swing right now. What about a quick transition is gonna help that? Hands going up, chest goes out in front, just throws everything that way. The golfer needs to understand two things here. Our body's turning in this direction and then back in this direction. So how easy is it to go like this? It's so easy, in and over. So that's why when you're at work, what, what, what do we have you doing now? We have you going like, show, show, show the camera, this is great. Yeah, look, I gotta go like this. And the guy the other day goes, what are you pointing at? Pointing at, uh, I'm in a conference room. Uh, <laughs> what are you pointing at? He's like this, I got, him, I got him keeping the elbow down, making a turn and pointing him back, like getting him like this. I'm just trying to get him feeling. His elbow is a crucial uh, part of this right here. So he, he always wants to go this way. So we got it down, we're pointing and then letting it sit. So just by doing this over and over, it's gonna reroute the swing, you know, just simple things. I mean, there's, there's ways you can get better even when you're not on the golf course. Yeah. But then keeping that rhythm when you are here allows at least me to have a chance of putting it. I'm glad you brought it back to that because that's what, you know, that's the biggest lesson and it always is for you. Yeah. You know, I will go, we'll get going, we get excited, we get talking about the things that need to happen and we start seeing the progress and then all of a sudden it's like, wait, wait, hold on, where'd it go? It always is rhythm, always. Oh, with the slip, <laughs> with the slip. But hey, how about this, the Winston collection if you follow them on Instagram, they're fantastic. Look at them coming through with the new, the new Porzac golf swag. So, always the American flag. The color's blue and white, love it. But they did a great job on these, so we're gonna make a lot more and get them out to you guys. Make them available to everyone. Now, John, I know that was a huge recap for you. You already know these things. I know we've already talked about it. The one mistake that you'll do, and this is a mistake that a lot of the viewers have too, when you rehearse it, what are you doing? You're looking up kinda, the shoulder planes up here, Get that, yeah. Remember how much it made a difference last time getting that shoulder down to the golf ball? There it is right there. See how, come back here, Kev. Do that again, that was perfect right there, John. Give me that same, there it is. That's what I'm talking about. See, he'll get in there and, and this is, and you can keep going, buddy, but this is what a lot of people do. They get in here like this and they're so curious what their backswing looks like and they're like, all right, poor Zach told me to be here and here. Let me, you know. <laughs> and then they're looking and, well, now it's unrealistic because you're up and out of it and looking at it like this. I want him here, focusing there, and then peeking up. Okay, it's a good thing for the viewer too.
And when you're doing mirror work especially, don't get caught looking in the mirror and getting this look right here where you're kind of looking in the mirror and you're like already out of it. Well, yeah, it's gonna be easy to turn. If you turn your neck this way and look, it's so easy to turn, but you know, if I look this way, I can't turn at all. If I look this way, it's not as easy to turn as it was when I was looking that way. So those feels are all different, which is why the head should be in the same spot. You should act like there's a ball in front of you, rehearse it, and then peek at it. Always a good way to do mirror work. Oh, oh. Now what's funny about that, that was fantastic swing there, but that's the ball flight, believe it or not, mm -hmm. that all the guys on tour typically are wanting, wanting to have. Like that one that it, it, it cuts, like it starts right on line, maybe yeah. like a yard left, but it just cuts right back. Yeah. That's a beautiful ball flight. I mean, we're only grading him right now and trying to push for the draw because right. it's the opposite of what he does. So obviously if John showed up hitting the ball like that and went and left today playing like that, we're great. Right. It's just a matter of right now, why are we pushing for a draw? It doesn't, I'm not saying John needs to play a draw. I'm just saying, we need to know how to do more of that. Wow. What a difference that, that was. was. Yeah. Oh my. Keep going. That was different, yeah. dude. Yeah. Am I getting a little far away from the ball? You were. I know. And you know, here's the thing. When you're far from the ball, yeah. it's like, if anything, what that's going to do, it's going to force you to have to swing out to it more. Yeah. Does that make sense? I can feel it because I'll start to get a little bit toey and I'm like, what I'm, I'm, you know what's funny? I just watch so much golf and I watch so much, I watch a lot of you too. And, I, and I'm looking back behind you sometimes and I go, yeah. it doesn't look like you're going to hit the ball from there. You know, you, get, you, get, you almost have to go out. Well, so I, no, could, get it. I could feel it, but. Yeah. Here's the tip. I don't like anybody telling a golfer, get closer, right. get wider, get narrower. It's like, how much? Right. How are you going to ever keep that consistent? Here's what I like for you. By the way, love the grips. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Ready? Right here. I put the arm, not on the side of the body, not on the front center, but right here, like right under my pec, right? Right on the side of the pec there, to the front. And look what I do. I put my hand where the right hand would be. And then all I do is I tilt right over from my belt line and let the club just, and there's how far I should be from the golf ball. My hands are underneath my shoulders and the golf club is then answering how far I should be away from the ball. You mean the okay. drill you showed me like, when we first started? <laughs> yeah, that, right, that when we started one? this yeah. one right here. Yeah, like the one we did, like yeah, like the first day one. Give, give that day, a day, shot. Day one, day two, shot. and day three. <laughs> but I think today the, the key is going to be rhythm, right? As you mentioned, yeah. rhythm, elbows, wrist. They're all they all go hand in hand. Yeah, elbows, rhythm, and wrist, and then pulling everything back down underneath you, getting that elbow past you. Yeah. The skipping the rock analogy. Yeah. I love it. At Porzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, -step, easy to understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.